Hi, my name is Alice Taylor and I'm a journalist working for the independent media platform Exit.al. I'm honoured on International Women's Day to join with the International Coalition for Women in Journalism to shed light on some of the issues that women face in this industry. Now, as a woman, you probably have been harassed online. Unfortunately, it's part and parcel of being um, a woman on the internet. But as a journalist, female journalists, we are more predisposed to gender-based harassment, gender-based verbal violence, threats. Um, this is a sad reality of the world that we live in. But for me, who's been on the receiving end of this type of behaviour and has seen it happen to countless friends and colleagues, I think the best thing that we can do is A, to expect it, and B, not to let it silence us. Um, I was inspired to become a journalist by the late, the great Daphne Caruana Galizia. In fact, when she was murdered, I almost gave up um, because I'd seen how she'd been harassed and abused online and how this sort of culture of dehumanisation had been created around her, which ultimately led to a situation where she could be assassinated. And I realised that I have a duty to continue and a duty to carry on, um, a duty to talk louder and a duty also to support other journalists, female journalists around me. So the best advice I can give to female journalists who are perhaps concerned about sort of the issues that we might face because of our sex, um, it would be to look for support around you, to, to find people that inspire you, to reach out to media organisations that can help and support you with advocacy, just general support, legal support, um, and to keep doing what you're doing. Um, uh, there is a quote I particularly like, which is, speak the truth even if your voice shakes, and this couldn't be truer for female journalists today.